Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the 21 question road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 1004. We are bringing back a classic. This is the lightning round number 29. The lightning round are the quick 21 question trivia quizzes where the questions are shorter than our standard trivia questions and you have less time to answer. So the name of the game today is speed. Good luck. Question number one. Queen Elizabeth I was the last Tudor monarch of England. What royal house succeeded the Tudors in 1603? The answer is the House of Stuart. Question number two. Which actress voices the intercom at the Marine Life Institute in Finding Dory and also the main computer of the Axiom ship in Wally. -E. That actress's name is Sigourney Weaver. Question number three. What is the title of the popular George Orwell novel with the opening line, It was a bright cold day in April and the clocks were striking 13. That is from the novel titled 1984. Question number four. To visit the ruins of Persepolis, an ancient ceremonial capital of Persia, you would have to travel to what present day country? The answer is Iran. Question number five. What species of large mackerel shark can be found in the coastal surface waters of all the major oceans and is second to none in recorded fatal attacks on humans? That large mackerel shark is the great white shark. Question number six. In the United States, it is constitutionally and narrowly limited in scope. What is the term for a crime against one's own country? That crime is called treason. Question number seven, developed in 1969, the Saffir-Simpson scale is the most common method of ranking what type of storm system? The Saffir-Simpson scale measures hurricanes. Question number eight, which planet in our solar system is the only one not named after a figure from Greek or Roman mythology? The only one that isn't is Earth. Question number nine. To better understand classical conditioning, what Russian psychologist famously measured dog saliva following the ringing of a bell? His name was Ivan Pavlov. Question number 10, also serving as the official state song of Connecticut, what is the name of the patriotic song and nursery rhyme that was popularized during the American Revolution? The state song of Connecticut is Yankee Doodle. Question number 11. The first person who was not a member of the royal family to be a head of state in Britain 
what man was given the title of Lord Protector in 1653? The answer is Oliver Cromwell. Question number 12. On the Big Bang Theory, who replaced Will Wheaton as the officiant of Amy Farrah Fowler and Sheldon Cooper's wedding? The answer is Mark Hamill. Question 13. In Dead Poets Society, John Keating encourages his students to make their lives extraordinary through the adoption of what two-word Latin phrase? The answer is carpe diem. Question 14. Flowing for 224 miles through the country of Ireland, what is the name of this, the longest river in all of the British Isles? That river is the River Shannon. Question number 15. The eldest child of Lord Hoster and Lady Manissa, in the Game of Thrones, what noble house was Caitlin Stark from before she married Ned? The answer is the House Tolly. Question number 16. Both of Mark Twain's fictional characters, Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, lived in what U.S. state? That state was Missouri. Question 17. Amida, Shingon, Tendai, Theravada and Zen are all sects of what religion founded in the 6th century BC by Siddhartha Gautama? Those are all sects of Buddhism. Question number 18. Though rare anomalies do exist, the majority of naturally occurring snowflakes have how many sides? The answer is six sides. Question 19. What is the most common name, if you dare speak it, of the evil movie character also known as Tom Riddle who first appeared in a 1997 novel. The answer is Lord Voldemort. And question 20. What is the name of the man who is credited with writing the lyrics to the national anthem of the United States of America? His name was Francis Scott Key. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Stay tuned later in the week. We're going to be posting a new Friday night pub quiz. These lightning rounds have always been pretty popular. I'm going to continue them into 2023. However, I'll change the name from lightning rounds to... Pit Stop Trivia. Uh, the theme of all of next year is going to be the 365-day trivia road trip, where every day it's going to be like a continuation of the road trip. So instead of lightning rounds, which really doesn't fall in that theme, we're going to do pit stops. So uh, there'll be the shorter, quicker, faster quizzes. It'll probably pop up on the weekend still. 
and uh, it'll just be a good addition to the standard quiz that we play Monday through Friday. In 2023, we will be going back to once a day, every day, um, and it's easier, it's very easy on me when I can write these short question trivia quizzes and pop those out, maybe a couple of them a week. It, it goes by so much quicker than the, the longer trivia questions. So I know there's a, quite a few lightning round fans in here, and I just want to assure you that in 2023, the lightning round will continue. Just look for it under a different name. That's all I have to say today. Now, let's get on to question 21, the tiebreaker for episode number 1004. What are the first names of the fraternal twin brothers who work as plumbers and live in the fictional land of the Mushroom Kingdom? The name of those two plumbers, Mario and Luigi. All right, thank you for watching. See you next time.